the Imam of Peace, a popular Muslim cl cleric, has jokingly shared what he believes will end the Russian, Ukrainian, and American crisis. In a recent post on his Twitter page, the Imam suggested that both American President Joe Biden and Putin should convert to Islam so that the problem will be solved. The Imam was reacting after American President said he was signing an executive order denying Russia from profiting from its violations of international law. Recall that Russia had built tens of thousands of troops across the Ukrainian, Ukrainian border. They seem to be making a preparation for a possible invasion of Ukraine if their demands are not met by the US and NATO. This is what led to Russia being sanctioned by the US President Joe Biden. The imam believes that that will not completely solve the problem. He believes if they convert to Islam, it will solve the problem. Although the imam was joking, the truth still remains that religion sometimes does not solve problems like this of course if he's joking he knows that hey, that is not the that was not the id thing this is not a africa that even the africa those ones who are so fanatical they always hide under religion because if you want to go by what the religion actually dictates i think uh, we will not be having problem if we do it the right way we will not be having problem because in the first place you have the fear of god in everything you are doing or in everything you want to do you just have the fear of god in the first place Islam is the problem of the world. There's no doubt about that. And that is why the Imam is joking. He's joking about it. You know, jokingly said what he said. Who does not know? Even in my own, where is no where there is no peace, who is the cause? Islam is a violent religion. Go to Iran, Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan, and ask them to convert to Islam because that is where all kinds of terrorist activities are being carried out. Islam is known for violence. Wherever they are, Anywhere in the world, this is definite. Then, how on earth can somebody be suggesting conversion to Islam as a way of achieving peace? It is absurd. More absurd. Thinking you as a peacemaker, a, a concord lad. Why? Absolutely impossible. Rather, let the Muslims convert to Christianity. That is where the assurance is. Jesus Christ is the peace and praise of peace. And all the peace in the world emanate from Christ, our Lord Jesus Savior. Hmm. Convert to Islam, you regret your entire better you join paganism. That was an expensive joke, oh, this imam of a peace. What does Islam or Christianity got to do over the matter on ground? Leave Christians out of your jokes. Uh, these are Three, these three countries are the major problems of the world today. U.S., U.K., Russia. <laughs> they always want to dictate to others and coerce them to follow. Even if their way is evil or not, with these three, the world will know no peace. What about Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, and Syria? U.S.A., U.K., Russia own the world. They lead white African slaves and gullible others follow. Convert over my food. Joke carry too far. Anywhere there is Islam, there is always conflict, violence, wickedness, depravative, and evil mind. Check out some its practitioners: Boko Haram, Islam, ISIS, Ashabab, Islamic State, Hamas, and so on. All of them confirm terrorist organization. Islam is a religion of peace or pieces draw your conclusions i thought uh, this man is a uh, literate my question is apart from saudi arabia no islamic country is terror free no um dubai is terror free no dubai, dubai is a very peaceful place that's why you see everybody always go there but when you hear people go to go to saudi arabia they always go there for prayers but maybe for tourism and you know like dubai you can't just compare it with dubai so the dubai see Okay, but at the end of the day, when you look at all these things very, very well, people just take it to the extreme. When people say Islam is a is a religion of peace, you don't doubt them, but because some people have taken it overboard, it's just like what we have in Christianity, but that is even, it's even a different case entirely. But if you look at Christianity too, the way some people have manipulated the whole system, you just be wondering. Some people tell you that they better, they rather stay at home. Some people, because of the way some pastors are, are behaving, they don't even want to go to church again. They don't want to listen to anybody. 
a lot of people just believe that if you're a pastor, oh, there's this mindset these days. Unlike before, when you hear about pastors, ah, you you know, you give them respect because they carry themselves with respect. But what we have these days, their own might not be in terms of violence and what have you, but some of them, majority of them, the so-called GOs pastors, they have made themselves God. To me, I always make excuse for them that it's, it seems they don't even know what they are doing. Because some people would think that they are fighting for God or they are working for God, but invariably, that is not what God sent them. They might think they are helping God, but that is not what God sent them. They will do, some people are just, because some people just believe that some people are doing it intentionally. Of course, you can't rule that out. But there are some people that you think that they know better. But when you hear some kind of things coming out from their mouth, you begin to wonder, what is happening? Could it be that these people, they don't even know much? And because they have gained ground, they've gained that popularity, People see them to think that say, oh, they are doing well. But in the real sense, they might not even know, they might even be ignorant of what they are preaching. And that's why uh, the, the Bible warns against all this heresy here and there. So the manner at which those ones do their own thing is different. You know, it's, it discourages a lot of people for saying that I want to be, you know, to be religious and all of that because they have turned everything upside down. So when you look at the, even the Islam in the first place, because some people will be telling you, but this one is a this is a, this is a, what is it called? It is a religion of peace. And when you come to Nigeria, when you see the people from the north and the people from the south, especially from the southwest, they are the ones practicing uh, Islam in their large number compared to other regions. You see the way, the way and manner at which those ones in, in the southwest part of the country, the way they, 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 they go about their Islam. You go, they don't even get time. So that's why you see in their families, they, say they have Christians, they have all manner of uh, people uh, practicing all sorts of religion and yet they are still living together they don't even care they don't bother but if you look at what is happening in the north in fact uh, you begin to wonder and that is why you hear the people especially from the north they will tell you oh these people from the southwest uh, they, are, they, are, they are islamic islam is very very too it's too it's fake that they are not the original uh, 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 islam people or muslims so they always downplay them because those ones, they don't take it to heart. So it, it depends on how some of the things are being interpreted to some other people. They might take something out of context. So you can't even just rule it out and say, oh, yes, the Islam is a religion of a, it's, it's not a religion of peace. It's just unfortunate where we are found ourselves. The Imam is good at joking with very serious issues. Saudi Arabia and South Yemen as Islamic nations, just like several other nations that are one other's throat today they don't seem to portray the peace that the imam wants us to see if two heads two heads of nations accept the prince of peace also uh, as lord and savior this hour peace would start to reign in that region immediately yes so guys i leave your comment down there below and let's have your take on this